What up, Brother Jones here? And it may be true, Slashers might be the most overpowered takeover in the game. The takeover of Slasher might give you the best benefit in this entire game. Now, we about to take a look into it now. Alright, so when you put Slashing Takeover into any build, you get a certain boost in stats, which you're going to get into in a second. But it don't... It don't matter like what the build is. Once you give it this takeover, it just it plays completely different. Now before I get into it, make sure I like the video, man, and comment right now what's y'all favorite takeover in the game. If you disagree, think another takeover is more overpowered, put it in the comments right now. I'm going with Slasher Takeover, hands down. It's the most overpowered takeover. And you about to see why. I'm about to break everything down for y'all. I'm about to break what exactly is upgraded once you get takeover and a slasher. Because a lot of people just think it's just driving dunk, but it ain't. So let's take a look. First, you get a plus 10 to driving layup, a plus 10 to driving dunk, and standing dunk. Then what the the thing you don't realize, you get a plus five to mid-range and three-pointer. So you're getting plus five to your three-pointer too. If you ever notice, your slasher can shoot suddenly when you get takeover. It's because you just went up plus five on your three ball, which is very toxic. Like, people don't even realize that. Like, if you have, like, a 65, it'll go to a 70. You have a 70, it'll go to a 75, which makes it dangerous along with your driving dunk and your driving layup and your standing layup. I mean, standing dunk. Another stats. Ball handling goes plus 10. Draw foul, that's cool for wreck. But look at all this plus five. You even get plus... 10 on offense, you get plus 5 on defense still and all this. So basically, all these categories you're getting upgraded. You're getting shooting boost, dunking boost, and you're still getting, you know, ball handling. And then, you got to real. we're going to get into the mechanics of Slasher too. And of course, it messes with your vertical. You're going to get a plus 10 on your vertical, a plus 10 on your strength, and a plus 10 on your speed. So your speed of ball is increasing a lot when you get slashed take you ever notice how much faster you are that's why no matter if you a center you an interior finisher i'm interior force a finisher a playmaker a offensive threat you getting all of these benefits with your current stat line which to me if you look at all the other ones you getting you know what i'm saying now this is from 2k lab shout out to 2k lab i'm a, I'm a member so you know what i'm saying what's up what's up i'm a member Y'all, this is toxic. This makes the slasher not only super athletic, but probably the most overpowered take on the game. Now, let's get into the mechanic. All you gotta do as a slasher is hop step, as you already know. As a slasher, you ain't gotta do much but hop step and drive and dunk. Now, this is a two way slashing playmaker. The epitome of slashing. This build right here, if you playing with this build, you already know. Everybody already went against these and played against these. These mugs don't really take too much skill to dominate with because it's so easy. All you have to do, literally, you can run ISO, get pro five, pro five to the paint, hop step, and most likely they're gonna leave one of your boys open. If they don't, little boy, look at that Michael Jordan dunk. Look at that Michael Jordan dunk. Oh my goodness. You saw that Michael Jordan dunk, but that's how it is, bro. Literally, if I drive in the paint, it's buckets. Look at this. Get off the paint, bruh. They don't it don't matter if they in the paint or not. Once you got slash the takeover, he's just gonna finish over everybody. Now it's even worse if you bigger. If you bigger with it, but the fact that two-way slash and playmakers, this the reason they're so overpowered is because of the slash. You give it any other takeover, it's not gonna do the same thing. It's the takeover of slasher. The slasher takeover gives you blow buys, makes you finish boo boo layups, increases all your hop step gathers and euros and all that, and then it just makes you just an unstoppable guy. Now in the comments, I know all y'all have when it have been slashed against and you have lost the game because of it. Whether it's on the 1v1s, this is why slash a good 1v1 builds. 1v1s. Now Mike Wayne warned us when the game first came out, he was like, yo, we're still polishing right now. But Slash is a very strong in our current build. 
probably need to be nerfed a little if anything well guess what you never nerfed it and it's still very toxic now of course the weakness of every slash and takeover normally is they can't shoot now you got the offensive threats that are half slasher half shards with this takeover and this that's the number one reason they're so overpowered because look what they like they can't be stopped you can shoot they already got a high 83 ball then you give them the slash so they can slide you leave them open and shoot two-way slash and playmaker normally you can stand and paint and dance and harlem shake in the paint and they gonna miss because just about every two-way slash ain't like that you want to you want to test one out you're going against a two-way slash and playmaker that's like a high overall high you know high rep like elite one just stand in the paint let him shoot the whole game just dance i guarantee he gonna try to run in that paint anyway and hop step you and try to reverse layup you you know what i'm saying them only <laughs> <laughs> it's always those, bro. You know how many times I'll stand in the paint, I'll sit there and do some kind of backflip or something, and they'll still drive, try to reverse layup, and they'll still somehow get it off. They will still somehow, and it'll be a slashing playmate. You don't even got to be a pure slasher. I ain't even seen no pure slasher in the park, really, besides interior forces. Because it's like, I don't even see the point of them. You know what I'm saying? If I want to make it, though, however... Brother Jones will make a pure slasher guard like I do every 2k. I've made it in 18. I've made it in 16. I've made it in 17. I'll make one because I ain't seen nobody really make them joints yet. I'll make a pure slash and just, just boom on everybody every single play. I'll do it. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> Let me know. But as far as the two way slash and playmakers, if they if you run into one that can shoot, bro, GG, you lost. Okay, because they can do it all. You can't play them too close up to driving. You can't, you know what I'm saying? If you give them space, it's over with. So, now let's get to interior finishers. Interior finishers are toxic in a way because they're like a big center. They're normally, not, they're normally undersized center, but they got crazy vert. They finish over people. They catch them oops. They dunk over people. You know what I'm saying? This is called the boost build. When you're trying to boost them Puma Mania, this the build you get. I know somebody, some of y'all made this build, didn't you? Mm hmm Some of y'all made this build just to boost. And Puma or that dunk, whatever that thing was called, Dunk Fest. I saw a lot of these out of nowhere. I'm like, look at all these interior forces out of nowhere. Look at this cheese. Now, I made one a long time ago, but I, I think I actually deleted them. And they, 2K won't give it back. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the 2K support for saying they already used my courtesy, even though... Come on, bruh. Y'all, I, 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 I grind y'all game. Y'all can't hook me up with a free bill like y'all do these other YouTubers. Can I get a free bill? You know what I'm saying? I know I'm the king of making bills. You know, the god of every single build in the game, no matter what bill. I ain't even sell y'all game. I got a bunch of game for that bill. You know what I'm saying? But the interior force is a booster. The pure slash, all you gotta do is throw oops to them. They get max rep. Little, little sneak peek right there. Now, if you wanna... Know what the best finishing badges are, in my opinion. Ah, it's tough. I'm a, I'm gonna say this, bro. I'm gonna say, Fancy's up there. Probably Giant Slayer. Uh, man, I'm gonna have to make a video on that, man. I already got one, but it, 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 my opinions have changed since the last time I made it. You know, Acrobat is a solid badge too, man. Yeah, a lot of y'all sleep on Acrobat, because Acrobat helps you with hop step. Hot Zone Hunter, as you about to see, gonna pop up on that hop step, hop step layup. So, literally, you know, Hot Zone Hunter works on layups, my boys, if y'all didn't know that. You see, it just popped up on that hop step. So, you might wanna make sure you got that joint go, because you know, all slash is red in the paint, so. Yeah, but I might go ahead and make y'all um, a full out finishing build video, man, because I can't just sit here and name it. I have to literally make a separate video, create a train of thought. Cause Giant Slayer, Contact Finisher, you know, Pro Touch ain't bad either. It just depends how many you got. So to you know, to break it down fully the way I want to, I'm gonna have to make a separate video. But hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. Slash is probably the most overpowered build in the game. Slash and takeover. Basically, slash and takeover. If the dude can shoot, which if I can shoot with a 50 
three-point lot. Ain't no reason you can't shoot with your slasher. To next video. I see y'all then, man. Peace.